Okay, Avoid good. legal snags by telling people they're being recorded. I should probably tell you at this point, Andrew, that you're being recorded. <laughs> I always feel like I'm being recorded now. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thanks, buddy. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. I was just saying, like, you, you can see I'm at my mum's from all the chintz in the background. Are you at home? I'm at home. I'm at home, yeah. I'm here in my kitchen. How is yeah. it? It's good. You know what? It's fine. It's um, it's a little bit of a weird time. Um, but I'm kind of determined when it's all over, which it will be, that I get something out of it, you know? Like, just, you know, it's the first time really in a long time that I've been able to stop. Um, so if people that I love um, are, will remain healthy and all that kind of stuff, I feel very, I feel kind of grateful. I feel like there's stuff that's coming out that I think uh, is kind of good. People keep talking about the eerie calm. And then I, I sometimes think... It's not the calm that's eerie. It's the fact that it's happened so suddenly because yeah. stuffing ourselves into a tube five yeah. out of seven days a week is a bit eerie, I think. Do you know what I mean? It's like there's yeah. loads of eerie stuff the other way too. Um, I, tell you, I tell you what, it is not eerie down on Brookwood Canal where uh, I am living at the moment. There are a lot of aggro people down on Brookwood Canal pushing you out of the way when you run past, like hiding in bushes as you go past so you don't breathe on them. So, Andrew... You've got five things you're going to talk about that are your um, that are your isolation essentials. I do, no. yeah. Only <laughs> the best thing that I did, okay, is listen to a guy called Mo God Godash on Elizabeth Days. I think I told. Did I send it to you? you? Did send it to me? Yeah, I haven't. I haven't actually listened to it yet. I'm embarrassed to say. Um, he wrote a book on happiness. Um, um, and Elizabeth, uh, on her How to Fail uh, podcast, interviews him. She did, she'd interviewed him before, but she was she talked to him about you know anxiety during the coronavi coronavirus um, uh, pandemic, and um, he just speaks with incredible humanity, great generosity, great sort of wisdom and calm about uh, what what this can be, and what um, rather than f uh, following the herd, what what. Um, what we what we're thinking ourselves and how how actually the the majority of us are are relatively safe and he doesn't um, you know um, minimize the the pain that some people are going through but he also says you know let's let's um, look at it from a particular from a particular angle and it's really um, really been beneficial because it happened quite at the beginning of the the current at the quarantine and. Um, uh, it's brilliant. So it's How to Fail um, with Elizabeth Day. She's actually also just interviewed Alain de Botton, the great philosopher, and he was brilliant as well. Amazing. Uh, so it's just those kind of guys that, you know, they're, sp they're speaking not just from this moment in time, but they're able to look at a big overview, which I find very um, comforting. Go on, what else do you, what else are your isolation essentials? Well, but we call it isolation. It's more social distancing, isn't it? It's social dis distancing essentials. Social, social distancing. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. Because we sort of rely out, out for a kind of government, government uh, regulated walk sometimes. Um, meant, this is meant to be kind of vaguely style and grooming related. But I think, as you rightly said, that, you know, people are, people are le engaging less in that side of things. Although, you know, some of us should probably be engaging a little bit more. Um, well, Really interesting because, like, you, I think everybody sort of misses that stuff a little bit. You go, God, that's cool. What, what do you do it for? So it's not that, you know, it, you sort of realize your horizon becomes a little bit smaller, doesn't it? So you're like, oh, God, like, what, you know, your identity is sort of get, gets a little fucked up at this kind of time. You think, oh, God, well, who am I if I'm wearing a tracksuit for four days? I had a Zoom conversation the other day with a couple of friends of mine, and we went through all the shit clothes that we were wearing. Like, so we did a little catwalk for each other. <laughs> like, I want you to do that. <laughs> well, this, I put on a shirt for you today. Is this but, the first um, time you've no, the This ketchup was bought in uh, Sainsbury's. Uh, I don't think I was doing some shit all today. Everybody had a little story about the shit clothes, the shit clothes that you're wearing. You're like, I got these. They were three or five quid in a market. Um, but um, yeah, so all that stuff. Yeah, it's 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 amazing. It sort of it moves to the background. It's a great freedom with that. I don't know. Are you finding that? Oh my god, one hundred percent. I like I, I come down to my mum's as I said, and I just kind of thought, right, I'm just bringing a suitcase. I've kind of worn worn the same kind of blue jumper and jeans. It does it does make you wonder about my role slightly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, can so, anyone really be bothered to make an effort? Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Theo. 
<laughs> you have to dress for the occasion. That's what you're always talking about. You know, you've got to, you've got to see, you know, that's what it's about. You go, okay, well, we're not, re we're not required to do that. I mean, it's interesting. I don't know if you've been on very, very many Zoom parties. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. We, we kind of have to, we have a big one for work every morning, which involves about 40 people. I, <laughs> I went to a surprise birthday party last week on Zoom. It was absolutely oh, no. amazing. My friend was so surprised. There were all people from all around the world. And it is that kind of thing about what you bring to a party. Do you know, I really, because like, that sort of relates to style and grooming. You're like, you know, you got to bring something. If you're not going to bring, you know, because dressing up and, you know, having a sense of occasion is usually what you bring to a party. But when you get rid of all that stuff and you're just looking at the person, you're like, come on, people, you, gotta, you can't just stand in silence. You know? The drinking thing is also put into quite a harsh contrast because... There's one thing if you're in a pub and you're in a group of people and you're kind of going off to get drinks and it's kind of like a little bit ephemeral. No one really knows what people... In this instance, you are watching people literally down a bottle of wine in the space of half an hour. I was just like, you yeah, okay, hon? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I find like like on two drinks, I'm like hammered as well. Yeah. I'm like, Jesus. I don't know why. Maybe it's just something about the focus of just looking at people. And then you, you sort of say, bye. And then you're like in your apartment or wherever you're just kind of, she's man. Absolutely, <laughs> really, really anxious and kind of quiet. So, um, okay, so number what you've done, number one, which is Elizabeth Day. Um, yeah, I, I yeah. do love that podcast, she's amazing. Um, she's a, it really is. There's two, there's two particularly that connect specifically to the um, the, the anxiety and coronavirus and all that kind of stuff. And it's really one of my big things is to just sort of um, that makes me feel better. One of the things that Alan de Botton talks about, um, in, in, the, um, in the podcast is our human need to sort of, you know, it's when we miss our families and our, you know, for some of us, our parents or our grandparents, people who are older, it's the need to look after people a little bit as well. And so one of the things that I think is important <clears throat> not to spread is panic. Like, actually, do you know what my number two is? Go on. Me the mute button. <laughs> That's brilliant. Love that. <laughs> Love that. Please don't eat it now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I encourage all people because we are surrounded by information at the moment. So, like, if people want to turn this off, like, literally, uh, no offense taken. But, like, yeah, I think sometimes you just got to be like, no, I do not. I do not need to. I do not need to see a picture of an empty shelf in a supermarket because that signifies to me that you, my friend, are an empty shelf. <laughs> But like you know what I mean? It's sort of trying not to spread spread um just what you've heard before and to sort of seek to like I know I'm sounding a bit hippie about it now, but like to try and you know, it's the first kind of um pandemic that we've had with social media and there's so much information. I have a sort of private Instagram as you know. It's brilliant Instagram to really cheer you up and it does amazing things. But also you're really aware when your world becomes smaller that you go, I just, I actually just don't need to. And there's a kind of a need. I don't know if you find that people's misery is almost exactly the same as they're showing off. They're showing off their misery as much as they are their fa fabulousness. <laughs> totally. And the fact that people, I mean, I'm probably saying this and I've done it myself, but you like, it's so visible. You just become really, really aware, don't you, of like, what makes you happy? I think it's really good for that. Okay. Really, what you need to do and what to... And there's just some people, you know, in relation to Instagram where you're like, that person is invading my daily life. And yeah. I've never fucking met them. They don't even live. I never will meet them. So to be able to just go, do you know what? I don't, I, I don't need you at this 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 time. And to sort of... Fo it's sort of a little bit focusing. So that I've used the, the mute button button quite... Um, by by uh, mute, do you, mean, do you mean mute or do you mean unfollow? It's it's good vibes only. It's not. It's this. It's like we're allowed to be feel feel a little bit sc a little scared and all that kind of stuff. But there, there's a way of there's a way of like just l looking to sort of console people rather than be consoled. I just find it a little bit, and maybe that's just what I need at the moment. But um, uh, no. I think it's really good just to call that thing. I've also kind of realised I was knackered. I really was. We we work so hard, or I've been working really hard. You know, because you're always striving for something. You're always going, okay, I got to do this, got to do just with the way work's gone this year, and like the way we we all are, you know. And so actually, just to stop a little bit and find out what else you can be outside of work, and you know what's important. I mean, it sounds like a cliche, but that's been really um, a big one for me. I was going to ask actually, like, because it has been such a massive year for you, like so massive. 
do you um do you worry about like the momentum slowing it's been kind of the opposite i feel like i feel like had i not had this break i've actually been able to stop and go geez that's been an extraordinary year that really has with like genuine wasn't doing you come and you go from job to job to job and we were over in la for just before the the um pandemic broke out and everybody was talking about their new jobs and I, you know, all that crazy time we were over with the awards season and openings of 1917 opened and all that kind of stuff. And you, it's been really, really exciting. And actually, it's been really nice to go, God, that, that was really amazing in contrast to sort of sitting in my, <laughs> it's in my kitchen. But like, yeah. I've, I really found, actually, if you don't stop and go, oh, that's really cool, then, you know, what the hell is the point? There's friends of mine who work in big companies who haven't been home on a Tuesday morning at 11 o'clock for 20 years you know what I mean they're like what it completely messes with your mind and I think we, we you sort of go through a sort of weird grief period where you're like you miss all the stuff and then because we're so adaptable I think you start to go okay but I do believe that good stuff will come out of it because I think just shaking something up and going who else are you apart from that complete rhythm that you're in before I think that's a really good thing if you could see one major change occurring that would be a positive change out of this process what would what do you think that would be what would you like that to be well it's again i think it's to do with social media it's amazing how social media has been such a huge part of our lives for so long but I, but actually now when you need that really need that connection when you really realize actually you can have a really brilliant time when you were sitting in your pants talking to your friends on the phone you and you're you in your pants now <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have pants on um, uh, <laughs> I'm like what what makes you actually genuinely happy it's the people and who do you think of and who do you miss and uh what do you miss about life and you know that doesn't mean that it all has to be like um like I think it's really true like you do kind of miss dressing up on occasions and all that kind of stuff but uh, I've always been a um a big um a uh, fan of the non-event like I love the day after a wedding I love kind of funerals sometimes you can have quite a good time up because nobody expects to be like hey I'm amazing are you amazing yeah you know you're just like you're allowed to be whatever the hell you are so if you're on a zoom call at the moment and somebody starts crying you kind of just go yeah I, I can understand so you're not sort of putting on the the front so I suppose in one way the one thing I'd really like to to change is is people's attitude to what social media actually is you know, like really genuinely what it is that you can present yourself as not perfect or filter the fuck out of whatever you're doing and still really genuinely connection because that's connect with people because that's the point of what we're doing, you know, and I think we're starting to like be a bit more innovative. Like, I don't think we would ever have this kind of conversation under norm, no, normal circumstances or, or maybe to see like your, your, your um, uh, family home, you wouldn't get to be able to see, um, <laughs> this cushion, which What's says, the say? or one of you done shots, give us bread, but give us roses. Oh, well, Jesus, I'm full of philosophy today. What's your third um, isolation essential? Uh, well, the thing that I've done twice, my sis, both my sisters put me onto this. My sister Sarah was uh, is obsessed with it. She does it every day. You may have heard it. Is Ryan Heffington's dance classes? Have you heard of them? I haven't heard of Ryan Heffington's dance classes. I've heard of some other ones. Okay, okay, come on. <laughs> he's, he's based in LA. And he's just full of joy. It's really stupid. He asks you like, to pick up bits of your laundry and swing it around. Or like, you know, he's got some sort of punch the president's moves. Um, and it's really joyful. And the music is super cool, super camp. Um, absolutely amazing. Just people are going around in their leisure wear. Um, it's on. In, it's on LA time. I think it's ten o'clock, so it's a different time, but it stays up until the next the next day. And he's a he's a actually brilliant uh, choreographer. Uh, but this is much more loose. It's much more about what we're all going through. And then he leads you through into a sort of a different sort of. Um, so it's not all high octane. And um, afterwards, you just feel really brilliant. And we haven't uh, cut too much rugs on the dance floor. You and me. We haven't actually. Did we not? I think we did at the Tate, although a lot of things happened. But maybe we could do like a dance class together. Maybe that could be our next thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so now number number four, come on. Okay, well, number four, it's it's pretty basic, but it's these guys. 
Andrew, we do not need to learn about your private predilections in this public forum. It's my whip. <laughs> what is it? This is me, these tulips, and my whip. These are resistance bands. You can do so much stuff with it. Because okay. obviously, you can get to the gym. And I do think that exercise, like at this time where everybody's really in their head and you're kind of worrying a little bit and blah, blah, blah. One of the things that I wrote down that I've got, got to do is to... Um, is to just keep the old exercise going. So that's been a brilliant thing to do. There's loads of classes that you can do online um, or just about resistance bands. Um, so if you've got them, um, uh, fish them out and use them. I never really used them before because I always just um, go to the gym. Like I've, I've also found that you actually really can break a sweat in your own. <laughs> break a sweat on your own by exercise. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> oh, exercising solo, fantastic. fantastic. <laughs> uh, what do you do with them? Do you do kind of like the press up things? When you... Yeah, you can do, you do all sorts of stuff. You got, like you stand on it and then you can you sort of basically just you stretch it as much as can. You stretch it that way. You can put your foot on it this way. I am genuinely. Um, I don't care if this sounds sentimental, but I'm really like even in relation to um, products and stuff that you use. Mm. All the natural products, weirdly, I'm really trying to fish out. Like, I'm using this sea salt spray that Murdoch do that, that, that you're like, oh, God, yeah, I've got a bit of sea. <laughs> it's the only bit of sea that I'm going to get. You do realize, you know, nature's got its own thing going on. Because it's, I think it's about consciousness. I think yeah. we're much more, becoming much more conscious because you've got more time and you're like, okay, you really look forward to what you're going to eat. Yeah. Like, so I might in my walk, I'm going, what am I going to prepare? Like yeah. you, I'm like, well, no, it's sort of incidental, you know. I could be a bit like, oh, like food is just something to just not really think about sometimes. And my fifth thing, thing that people keep saying is stay connected, stay connected, you know, FaceTime, Skype, um, whatever it is, WhatsApp people, or whatever the, the apps are. And I think that's really, really important. But the person that you're spending all your time with, I, that we, I, I'm suddenly very, very aware of. And you get maybe a little bit aware of that, you know, when you work as an actor, because you have to spend kind of times with unemployment and you don't have a, a regular rhythm. But if you're not connected to um, yourself, it's like living with somebody. And if I'm not checking in with what's going on with me, mm. just constantly looking, FaceTiming people and looking outwards rather than sort of looking inwards, you start to go a little bit nuts. So it's been a really good time to be able to um, meditate. Um, I've, I've had a pretty mixed history with meditation. I've been a bit like, no, I can't do it. I really can't do it. What does that mean? Yeah. You know, oh my God, am I doing it right? Am I doing this? And it's kind of just a little bit like anything. It's just, I found, I've got a little bit better, you know, in the past year, as things have gone a bit more mental, I've sort of tried to, I kind of needed to go, okay, and just need a bit of a still space. And and with all this information going around, I have found that if you kind of look inwards and you're able to just go, okay, everything is peace, peaceful in there, you're able to take that peace and bring it to the world rather than everything going out, going on on outside and you bring that and that make that that becoming your your norm. So just to be able to have something that's, it, it doesn't feel hippy dippy to me. It feels actually kind of scientific that actually if you just, are able to in some way get better at going okay it's calm in there everything is all right uh then i find it much easier to um to cope with this this time and i i really hope who's to know that i'm able to to um, continue it properly and get better at it do you use like an app or a what's what's your tool i do i love this guy called eckhart Tolle. i think he's brilliant um i've got a whatsapp group with um a group of us and some of whom i don't know and you kind of have to you kind of have to do it because right. you're through. So again, it's that connected thing, and and you think, okay, well, I've got to, I've got to do that. And, the, uh, and I definitely, I definitely had an experience last week where I thought, oh, I'm actually really looking forward to doing that, rather than it being another thing that I'm not really doing properly. And that's just practice. It's just because if you're, if I really do think that if you're not kind of connected with who you are or what all this is doing to you or what you love or what, then you can't really bring anything to the rest of the world. And there's yeah. an awful lot of stuff going on all the time, so I'm I'm doing that as as best I can, best I can, and uh, you know as well as watching Tiger King and all this stuff. So I, I really think I don't know maybe it's because it's all about 
capturing the natural world and like you realize all these tigers and like what they know and just the close up of, and then this sort of madness that sort of ensues and but it about... crazy people right like that world to want to be next to a tiger and to be next to a lion and trying to absorb that energy it's like you've got to be a bit mad you've got to be a bit kind it's, of like... yeah it's like it's sort of a real ego thing and it seems to be yeah. related to so, sort of your own sexual prowess or something yeah, like that we've all, like, all got like Fuck loads of people that they're either married to or you know all their staff or yeah and they've probably all got tiny tiny penises <laughs> <laughs> right listen i know you've got to go and do your do your teaching um do me teach. so, so thank you for doing this i really appreciate it it's going no to be really nice and so I